Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Wasteful Broadcast. Hi guys, it's Charlie. Welcome back to Wasteful Broadcast. Hey, hey, back home to you. sat in my car i love it way too much actually worrying i made a channel which i was going to make into a car channel i've become a bit of a car fan i'm not gonna say i'm a car girl because there's a lot of hate and controversy between like are you a car girl are you not i wouldn't say i'm a car girl because i actually don't know a lot about cars i'm still learning i've been into cars for like years but i'm gonna be the stereotypical person since i got with my boyfriend i've got a lot more wow that is a disgusting scab and there is a bug on me this car is a renault clio dynamic 1.4 2007 basically i'm gonna tell you the reason why i got this car what i'd like about it what i don't like about it and my plans for the car i do want to modify the car I bought this one because i was looking at like cheap cars that you can modify you know young insurance because i don't have any years no claims now i've switched on to this insurance I actually won't get my years no claims for like another year and that's pretty sh for me. You know, we're just gonna deal with it anyway. I wanted a bigger engine, but here Picanto that I was using on my brothers, which I do still drive. 1.1 petrol and I wanted a 1.4 because they sound cooler and with a 1.1 you can't really do much with the exhaust. I didn't really want a 1.2 or a 1.2 turbo because I didn't want my insurance to rise. I was really fussed about having a turbo and my next car I want is like a Mazda or an Audi. Like my first car of mine in like still kind of first year driving i i wasn't really fussed about like having a turbo i found renault clio's and i was like oh that car looks all right some people do say it is a granny car probably why it's cheap on insurance because a lot of grannies do still drive renault clio's 97 or 182 but it, i like it it's all right for me i've been driving the car for like less than a month now probably like three weeks because it did actually break on me straight away when i bought it it was sat on the drive for like two months because i couldn't afford to insure it insured it drove for a day came back the <laughs> get on to what i like and what i don't like about the car dashboard and the interior are super simple i have never seen a car with like it's just got such a simple spec and i kind of like it i don't really like those cars with like loads of buttons you don't really know what you're doing saying that my dream car honda civic type are a lot of buttons but for now i do like a simple spec the cup holders do not fit my water bottle they are quite small. I've got three cup holders. Nothing fits in them. Nothing fits in them. Get a McDonald's cup in them, thank the Lord. Can't get like a water bottle or anything. Whereas in my old car, you could. The radio isn't very good at picking up signal. Don't have Bluetooth in to replace the radio and put in a new unit that my brother put in. But the radio wasn't picking up any signal. And I have... I have one of these, hands free, yet I cannot use it. I can't answer calls because my phone is just there. All I have is my aux. It is a shame because when I did get this car and I tried it out sitting still on the drive, the speakers and the music was amazing. I was so excited to use the speakers. Road trips with my friends, the speakers are really great. The speakers weren't actually that great. The fuel tank is on the driver's side and I'm used to the fuel tank being on the passenger side but I don't really like it because all the petrol stations I seem to drive in the wrong way. I'm not very good at parking or filling up fuel or just driving in general really. Like I'm either overconfident and I almost crash into someone or I'm like really nervous. No in between. aircon because the car is such a low spec there is no aircon and you can tell now i'm really 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 hot it picks up quite quickly compared to my old car you can tell it's a 1.4 it's so much more powerful i now can just put my foot down around roundabouts and i'll come out of the roundabout actually in sync with all the other cars instead of people overtaking me as soon as i leave the roundabout like that is the most annoying thing ever it's fairly fuel efficient it is more expensive than my old tank but that's because the tank is bigger obviously everyone will know that i was worried actually that it wouldn't be as efficient seats are very comfortable they're a bit plain they're a bit like granny-ish but they're very comfortable i do like the color of my car the color of my car is red i i don't really know the name it actually looks different in different lights i love the way the front bumper and 
headlights look. The lights at the front of my car just look angry. I generally love hatchbacks. I love the shape of my car. There is a lot of boot space. Cheap on insurance. I insured this car for £750. Obviously with no, no years, no claims. Three door, which usually bumps up the price with insurance. So that's the end of the video. Gave you a bit of an idea on what the good things are about a Renault Clio Dynamic. Did I not even say it was a Mark III? I am going to be doing stuff to the car. I am just currently spending my money on smaller things such as clothes, trips, away, just like general plans instead of constantly saving up. I don't earn that much money. I only work three days a week because I do go to college. So my plans for the car is I'm gonna put a RS spoiler on it because I don't like the normal just Mark III Clio spoilers. I think they're too small. I want a bigger one, but obviously that comes with the insurance price for that too, which is a lot of money. We want to do the interior. In the long run, I want new seats. I want the comfy bucket seats. I do want a splitter. It would make the car look so much more angrier. Exhaust and a splitter are the main mods that I do want to save up for, but it's just gonna take me some time. Everyone starts from somewhere. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you're not car people, I will still be making my other videos. I'm gonna be doing a haul pretty soon because I've bought some new things. So I hope you like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up leave a comment down below and click subscribe if you want to see more it doesn't mean that you're contributing your life towards someone to just click subscribe and i will speak to you in my next video goodbye